I left the United States on April the 22nd, 1967, on a beautiful Braniff, flying into the Vietnam airspace, you could see artillery exploding. And the plane got very quiet. No one spoke. Everyone, I suppose, was wondering, what am I in for? So we landed at Tonsonut, and you were immediately jolted by the heat and the hu humidity. Everything was so damp, and there was this odor. And driving out of Tonsonut, Pan Am had a huge billboard with an airplane on it. It was blue. And it said, welcome to sunny Saigon. And I wondered about that. After two days, I was assigned to the third field hospital in Saigon. We had one of only two renal dialysis units in Vietnam. The patients in that ward referred to it as God's waiting room because the renal patients were severely injured. We had one patient who wasn't going to make it. He was too badly injured and his civilian brother arrived to stay with him. We got to know him and when his brother, the patient died, we all cried because we had become emotionally attached, which we tried very hard never to do. You couldn't let your facial expressions or your eyes show what you were feeling. You, you had to be tough. You weren't there to be mournful or tearful for the patients. You had to be upbeat. But that was a very special ward, and we were there to take care of our patients. So for us, that was a just cause.